Welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about, or I'm showing you how to do this kind of Beth Harmon inspired hair um, curling video. Yeah, hair styling. Uh, I would definitely say that the bangs a little bit, I are a little bit different from before, but it's fine. Do whatever you want with it. Um, but yeah, I was really excited to do this and a lot of people really liked my video when I, or my picture when I posted it and also the video of my haircut which I will also include in the uh, description box down below on how I did it. Um, it's basically just a YouTube video. I just followed it and thankfully, here we are. We did it. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I hope you are ready to watch and you enjoy. You can go now. Um, and you're gonna need some bobby pins, a paddle brush, some Velcro rollers, and I'm using a one inch curling iron. Okay, so I first started out with freshly washed hair. Um, I just don't really like having greasy hair for most of the time. I would definitely, so if you have wet hair, air dry it or blow dry it, um, brushing the ends out. I just let my hair air dry just because I knew I was going to put a lot of heat on it today for this look. So I'm just going to briefly brush my hair out and make sure there aren't any tangles. I did just cut my hair at home by myself. I will link down the video below of how I cut my hair or with what I used. Um, and I'm going to be taking Burbs, Ghost Oil, and Heat Protectant Cream and running it through my hair just so I can keep my ends nice and protected because this is a very heavy heat uh, usage hairstyle, I guess. Um, I definitely really want to try to do this with uh, foam rollers, which I'm actually having coming in soon. So there's that, but we're just going to go with kind of the easy, fast way to do this. So I'm just going to liberally spread this throughout my hair and then brush my hair. And then I'm going to section my hair off into about four things, I think. So I'm going to take pretty much my face framing hair um, out of the way. And then I'm going to take the back of, or I guess the, the back of my head as well. There's going to be one section that I'm taking out. And then I'm taking that one inch curling iron and I'm going to be curling it away from my face going up so I'm not curling it in a very normal direction as most people would probably use this curler most people like to use straighteners for this as I've seen in other tutorials for just making that kind of 60s short hair flip but I only have a curling iron so I'm using that and then I'm gonna take a velcro roller and I'm going to pretty much use that to hold the curl and use a bobby pin to secure it and then just work on the rest of my hair so that's pretty much the process for that first layer of hair that I'm curling. The back of the hair is a little bit harder and it's honestly for me it's not that big of a deal if it's perfect because it's the back of the hair no one's really going to see it especially if you're just doing this for looks or if you really want to do it then like you go ahead and just try to make it perfect but this is just the way I'm going to do it. Uh, the first time I did this, this definitely held the curl very well, um, and yeah. So now I'm going to take that back piece of hair where there's more hair and it's going to fall on top of that. I'm going to quickly brush my hair and then pretty much just do the same process, curling it up towards the air and then using a curler to hold the curl. And now for the face framing curls. Uh, so I only took one of the um, one of the pieces of hair there, and that was, and there was only one piece that's actually gonna go 
away from up to the sky kind of how I did everything else the rest I'm actually gonna curl differently and curl it towards my hair but in a downward angle at a downward angle so that way the curls can kind of fall a little bit better and then I don't want to use velcro rollers for this so I'm just actually gonna sit, curl it again with my fingers and then just set it with a bobby pin that way and I'm pretty much just gonna do that for the rest of my hair that's left and I find that this helps hold the curl really well um, it's really easy for me to use too and yeah So I left my hair like this for about 15 to 20 minutes. You can definitely leave it in for a little bit longer, um, but just because I kind of wanted to get it done, I just took it out. Yeah. Okay, so now that my hair has set for a few minutes, I am pretty much just gonna take everything out and brush out my hair. Um, again, I not like the stingiest person when it comes to curls or rollers so I'm pretty much just taking them out but carefully um, yeah <laughs> And as you can see, it makes the perfect little like loop up or curl up. And I just quickly or gently, I try to gently brush the hairs together so they all just look more uniform together. Um, but I think it works really well. And then I'm carefully taking out the other ones that don't have rollers in them. And I, at first I thought my bang, like my, my little bang that's on that side didn't curl too well, but I just decided to kind of work with it a little bit more. And then for the side that has the most hair where my bangs do fall, I brush them out, but I also, what I like to do is take a bobby pin to kind of help shape it a little bit more. Usually you use different kind of hair clips to do that instead of a bobby pin, but I just didn't have that, so I work with what I got. Um, and I'm pretty much just leaving it on there for a few more minutes. And then, Alrighty, 
now I'm just going to take out my bobby pins that I left for a few minutes to kind of hold a certain shape for my hair. And I really want to get a teasing brush, which I actually also ordered because I'm trying to do more vintage styles for my everyday hair. Um, but yeah, and then that's pretty much the look. Yeah, I was, I'm really excited with how this came out. Um, I remember when the show first came out, I was like, how do I do this haircut? What do I do? And like, I found out it's a wig and I was like, okay, well, great. So somebody figure out what to do. And I went on TikTok and I was like, someone figure out, show me, tell me. Nobody did anything. Nobody said anything. I even, I don't know. I just didn't find anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it myself. So I did that. See? Rely on yourself, not on others. Um, but yeah, I really liked how it came out. I'm hoping to see how it looks like with foam rollers. If anything, I might just make a separate video and just to show like, oh, this is what the difference looks like. Maybe there's not that much of a difference. Um, but yeah, so all experimenting. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Um, just cause you know, I like doing some new things with my hair. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and you stay healthy and well and happy 2021. <laughs> have a good one. Bye.